years old. I'm the founder of 10xcode.kids.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with as many people as you can. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do it so that you don't miss any of my videos. So without any delay, let's get started. And today you are gonna learn how to use your inertial sensors in your sensor. So these inertial sensors are used to take out the orientation of your sensor, the acceleration, uh, uh, and a lot more. So uh, we you will use the magnetometer, right? Uh, you'll learn about the magnetometer sensor, uh, magnetometer, the accelerometer, and the gyroscopic sensor. And this is gonna be a very interesting video. So without any delay, let's get started. Dab! So roll the code, please. So guys, let's get started with the code. But before getting started, you just need to know the basics of how Sensat looks at its X axis, Y axis and Z axis. So let me take you to the Sensat. So this over here like this, directly like this is the Z axis. So the Raspberry Pi rotating like this or rotating like this will be on a rotating means that the Raspberry Pi will be rotating on the Z axis. This over here is the X axis. So the Raspberry Pi rotating like this or rotating like this will, uh, will be considered as it rotating on the X axis. And this short side is the Y axis. So the Raspberry Pi rotating like this or like this is considered as the Raspberry, uh, sorry, uh, the sensor rotating like, okay, like this or like this will be considered as rotating on the Y axis. Like this or like this, uh, the sensor will be considered rotating on the X axis. And like this or like this, the uh, sensor will be considered as rotating on the Z axis. Now, uh, now the Z axis is also called the yaw. The Z axis is also called the yaw. The Y axis is also called the pitch, and the uh, X axis is also called the roll. Right? So pretty cool information. This was the prerequisite knowledge that you needed, right? To for a start uh, uh, working with the gyroscope sensor. Uh, the magnetometer and the accelerometer so now we uh, what these three sensors are used to do these three sensors together are used to find the root uh, the orientation of our raspberry pi so these three sensors together are used to find the orientation of a raspberry pi we can also use uh, and these sensors separately to find uh, orientation for one sensor like if i only want to find the orientation from the gyroscopic se gyroscope sensor then i'll just use the gyroscope sensor if i want to only find the uh, uh, find it from the magnetometer i'll use the magnetometer and so on right so now let's get started with the code first of all from we do from sense hat import sense hat and if again you don't have the sense hat with you you can use the sense simulator right and the whole code will remain same for you but uh, just you have to do emu over here so from sense emu that stands for emulator instead of giving from sense hat you have to do se from sense e emu like emu so like this right you just have to change it over there and it will work with your sense simulator also. Next we'll do sense. Sense is equals to sense act. So we are creating an object now. So we are creating an object of our sense hat class that was just imported. So next what we're going to do, we are directly going to find the orientation. Right, so the orientation is equals to sense dot get orientation, and this will use all the three sensors that are the magnetometer, the uh, what we say, the gyroscope sensor, and the accelerometer. So this get orientation method will use all three sensors to find the orientation of our sensor, right? So next what we are going to do, we are going to uh, uh, save the pitch that is also considered as Y, the Y axis. So uh, what is the uh, uh, angle of rotation on the Y axis? 
at which angle is the pitch right so on which uh, angle right so on which angle is our y axis right so how at how much angle is our sensor rotated on the y axis right that we are going to take out so this orientation will now this sensor get orientation returns as an object right with three properties pitch a, a roll and yaw right so i'll print the object first before continuing so print sorry print orientation now if i save this and run this you can see we are getting an object over here that is telling us the role that is telling us the pitch and that is telling us the yaw so this is over here telling at how uh, at how much degrees is the raspberry pi rotated on the x axis that is the role at how much degree the uh, the sense axis sorry is rotated on the y axis that is the pitch and at how much degree the sense axis is rotating on the z uh, rotated on the z axis that is the yaw so um this gives us in degrees right so over here on the x axis it is slightly rotated 2 degrees by 2 degrees it is slightly rotated on the pitch it is uh, like almost not rotated only like 0.0 so on the y axis we can consider it is not rotated at all and on the uh, x axis uh, sorry z axis that is the yaw our sense height is rotated 332 degrees right so it is rotated 332 degrees now we can extract this into variables separate variables and then print them out uh, each so we can do pitch is equals to orientation pitch right sorry so this will take out the pitch value for us this will take out the pitch value for us from orientation and uh, and uh, save it in the pitch variable similarly we'll do this for the roll and the yaw so roll and take out the value of roll and take out the value of yaw and save it in yaw next we are going to print these values individually so print we'll do we'll say pitch 0 so we are using string formatting over here and we'll use the format method roll 1 and your two so these these numbers in the brackets are basically placeholder for values so dot format so we'll use the format method on the string and we'll say pitch okay pitch roll yo now if i run save this and run this then you'll see the pitch is uh, so it is the sense height is almost not rotated on it is not rotated on the y axis at all 0 degrees on the y axis on the x axis it is rotated by 2 degrees and on the uh, z axis it is rotated by 333 degrees right we could have rounded off these values to have a better view of it so round round and finally round so we will round off these values to understand them better so save and run so uh, now this is telling us that on the y axis the sensor is not rotated at all on the x axis it is rotated by 2 degrees and on the uh, z axis it is rotated by 334 degrees very very cool stuff now this was a get orientation method what if i wanted to use the accelerometer only so to have a clear comparison of all the values i'll not delete the above code 
and we'll do acceleration acceleration so now uh, the accelerometer tells us at what axis how much gravitational pull is there right so how much gravitational pull is on the z axis how much gravitational pull is on the uh, y axis how much uh, gravitational pull is on the x axis so the acceleration uh, uh, accelerometer tells us that so we are till do we'll just do sense dot get x dot get accelerometer <laughs> i suppose this is the spelling and then you'll say raw right so this is the method next we'll do x is equal to now the you don't have to access the values like in uh, like you did in orientation like pitch roll and yaw you can directly give x y and z so you have to access the values like x y and z so acceleration x so the acceleration on the x axis the gravitational pull on the x axis y is equals to the gravitation gravitational pull on the y axis and z is equal to the gravitational pull on the z axis so now this is this is going to give us uh, uh, it uh, this is going to give us in three values either it will give us zero either it will give us 1 either it will give us minus 1 so basically the values will between will be there bit from uh, in, in between minus 1 till 1 so minus 1 will come when okay i'll show you so if i save this and if i run this oh no nothing will happen right now we have not printed there so what we'll do we'll just go copy this x y and z x y and z now if i save this and run this you are seeing we i have an error okay so i suppose i have misspelled acceleration yes run so you can see it is over here minus 0.001 something y is 0.0 something and z is 0.99 so on the z axis we almost have uh, on the z axis we have the gravitational pull because underneath this only is the earth's gravitational pull so the earth gravity this is laid flat on the table so on the z axis directly so on the z axis directly the earth's gravity is pulling the raspberry pi right so the sensor right so this sensor is being directly pulled on the z axis by the earth's gravity right so uh, it is telling us that this uh, has uh, this is all uh, being pulled by how much gravity uh, gravitational force so 0.999 something right and um it uh, now if i just Uh, if you can see over here, if okay, it's quite difficult for me to handle the camera and this both. So, how should I do it? Okay, so I'll not just show you, but I'll just take you back to the code. I'll just rotate this a bit. Now, if I run this, now see. you can see the value where x x is now minus 0.99 y is 0.1 and z is 0.08 how did that happen now what did i do you see over here what did i do i did it like this now the now the gravitational pull was directly coming on the x axis right it was directly coming on the x axis but now i hold held it like this right so this is the opposite side if i did it like this then it will give us uh, almost one if i do it like this it will almost give us minus one right so uh, at one side it will give us one on the other side it will give us minus one right so this is pretty cool so this was the accelerometer 
Next, we can use the gyroscope also. And very similar to the accelerometer is the gyroscope. But the gyroscope does a different thing. And why did my mouse stop working? Okay. Just change the battery. Hey, my mouse died. Stop working. The keyboard is... Why is the mouse not working? So irritating between the video. Okay, I'll just see you in a sec. So guys, all issues aside, now we can move on. So now we'll move on to the gyroscope sensor, right? So it is very similar to using the accelerometer sensor, accelerometer. So what you have to do, you just, uh, instead of get accelerometer raw, you have to do get gyroscope raw, right? And if you want, you can rename all the variables also. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to name them gyroscope. So control C. Control V. Control V. Control V. Control V. And yep. So this is pretty, pretty cool. This is what you just needed to change. And when should you use this gyroscope sensor separately, right? When should you use it? So you need to use, you should use the gyroscope sensor separately. Like for example, when you have a robot, right? And a moving robot, right? And this is the, there's a sense hat on its back. So when it bends, then you can use the gyroscope sensor to take out the orientation, right? So to take out its orientation, right? On the X axis, Y axis and the Z axis, right? And you'll get to know the uses of it and uh, what all it gives. But you just right now need to know that there's a gyroscope sensor also used by our uh, in our sense hat that we can use, right? And if you do the comparison, these are pretty different values over here so this is the value from the accelerometer and this is the value from the gyroscope sensor pretty different values right but you'll get to know the uses of our your gyroscope sensor when you need to use it separately right right now i can't justify it right so i i can't exactly tell you how when right so i told you when but why i can't tell you right now i uh, or the video will be like half an hour one hour okay so next after this we will use the magnetometer that is the last sensor to take out the orientation and this will tell us that how much degrees so like for example your north is like on like here right and you are facing okay so you cannot see me okay uh okay so if your north is like here right and you're uh, you're facing over there so how much distance how at how much degrees are you away so i'll just show you this works your like your compass only right this works like your uh, iphone compass so north is equals to round sense dot get compass right we'll round this off and then we just want to print north so it is giving us 313 so this is telling us so if i just move the sense at as you can see on the z axis if i just move it and if i run this once again it is 354 now right so this is when it hits zero that means it is facing north right when it is like uh, around like 350 340 then it is like 20 degrees away from north uh, 30 degrees away from north right so um when it is like 350 340 or you can say 300 if it is 300 then it means that it is 60 degrees away from north right so um pretty cool stuff i also want to show you one extra thing right see the magnetometer uses the earth's magnetic field but what if we move a magnet around it see the change in values then okay we'll need a while loop okay so now uh, if you just rotate this a bit 
then not should be oh well so it is three now as you can see it is now three run 357 rotate a bit 359 rotate a bit more I want it to go yeah so now it is on exactly right it is exactly zero but if I take put a magnet over here right now if I run this <laughs> 354 just if I put a magnet over here so if I just just see over here right Oh, it's a lot of things I have to hold now. Okay, so I'm not able to manage it. You see the screen. I'll run this and put the mag there. So, here. Now, run this. 61. The orientation hadn't changed, but I put the set the magnet over here. So pretty cool. So now if the magnetometer is not able to focus on the Earth's magnetic field. It is taking our normal magnets, right? So it is, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, telling us the north, right? It is telling us the north according to the magnet uh, that is placed, right? So not looking at the Earth's magnetic field. It is ignoring the Earth's magnetic field, and it is taking this magnet's magnetic field right to find the north though that is not correct right and on your iphone also if you just rotate your magnet on the compass app right so if you just uh, go to the compass app and rotate the magnet in the sensor uh, like in the center like this right so if you rotate it like this your magnet in the center uh, in the compass application then also it will show you the wrong position it will show you wrong uh, it will show you the wrong thing it will tell you wrong <laughs> wrong direction of your north right so it will tell you the wrong direction of your north right and uh, uh, this is how you can use a magnetometer gyroscope sensor and accelerometer separately also if you want to use them combined over here you can use a get orientation method so thank you guys this is all for this video i hope you guys liked the video if you did please don't forget to smash like button and share this video with as many people as you can thank you guys bye stay safe stay healthy and keep watching my videos Bye.